Hello everyone, welcome to the session. I hope your preparation for CAT exam is going on very good. And to further enhance your preparation, I'm going to discuss a very tricky question from inequalities and that will make you comfortable with the inequalities topic. This is the question from CAT November 2003. In this question, it is given that V is a variable ranging from minus one to one. U is a variable ranging from minus two to minus 0.5. Z ranges from minus two to minus 0.5. W is equal to VZ upon U. Then which of the following is necessarily true? Four options are given in this question. And we have to find the range for W. That means we have to find the minimum value of W possible for W and the maximum possible value for W. Now see, W is equal to VZ upon U. For this question, I'm going to discuss two different approaches. First one will be a bit lengthier as compared to the second one. So uh, first approach is, see in this question, we have to find the minimum possible value for W and the maximum possible value for W and W is a fraction Vz upon U. Now just see, if I want to maximize any fraction, then I have to maximize the magnitude of the numerators and minimize the magnitude of the denominators. Now in this case, we have two numerators V and Z. We have to maximize the magnitudes of these two numerators and U is the only denominator and I have to minimize the magnitude of U. Now if I observe carefully, value of Z will be negative always because in this it is given that it will range from minus 2 to minus 0.5. Again, value of U would also be negative always ranging from minus 2 to minus 0 0.5. That means whatever will be the value of Z or U that will cancel each other, negative sign will get cancelled with each other of V and uh, sorry of Z and U and I'll have positive result of these two values. Now depending on the value of V, I'll get positive or negative value for W. So now I have to observe only the magnitude part for Z and U. I don't have to take tension about the sign for Z and U. Now, as V and Z both are numerators, I have to maximize the magnitude of the numerators in order to maximize that value of W. Maximum value of V can be 1 magnitude wise. Maximum value of Z magnitude wise will be 2 and maximum sorry I have to consider the minimum value of u and the minimum value of u is 0.5 because I know that negative sign of z and u will cancel each other and v can be positive as well as negative so this will be the maximum possible value for w and this will be 4 so in this way I got the maximum possible value for w and for this from this only I know that second option would be my answer. If I have to further see what will be the minimum possible value for W. Now, as I know that is sign of Z and U will not affect the value of W. Only V will matter for the sign of W. And if I'll take value of V as minus one, then the value of W would be minus 4 and this is the minimum possible value for W because I already have maximized the overall value of the fraction and with negative sign it will mean that this is the minimum possible value for W. So both the minimum and the maximum values I am getting in option number 2 that means option number 2 is my answer. So this is the first approach and moving on to the second approach for this question. This is a bit trickier uh, approach. Just check. V is in the numerator and V can be negative as well as positive and minimum magnitude and maximum possible value of V. Minimum possible value and maximum possible value of V is minus 1 and 1. Magnitude is again 1. That means if I have to check what can be the minimum and maximum value of W then I have to see that in which option I am getting magnitude for both minimum and maximum possible values is same because I know 
v value of v will only change the sign of that magnitude now in second option minimum possible value is w 4 and maximum possible value is 4 sign is just the matter here so i have to see in which option both minimum and maximum magnitude is same and this thing i am getting in second option that means second option is the answer and this thing i have observed only on the basis of v because i know that sign of v will matter in the minimum and possible in, in the minimum and maximum possible value of w so in from that approach second option is my answer so friends i have discussed both the approaches for this question this question was uh, a bit trickier question from cat exam and to know more about inequalities and how to handle questions based on options from the topic of inequalities you can watch my full video so thank you very much for attending the session all the best thank you very much